Yes, there's a growing rumor right now on social media that you know Bonner Boy snubbed Davido in Abuja. That is quite disturbing, and a lot of people are finding a moment of truth in that. Why some other persons are really excited at that, trying to blow out the story out of proportion. I think this is quite disturbing. The lies of uh, you know uh, Damikren, the lies of uh, Sanclef is really getting interested in this and really making a lot of. Uh, you know block deals out of it before we dive into the story proper i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos if your record isn't solid avoid dropping next week that is coming in from a person of buju benson i think it is a subtle shade at david o. that is something a lot of people are really trying to interpret remember that david o decided to drop a particular song in this month and whiskey has picked this month to drop his morayo album and right now a person of buju is coming out to say i think david o's song is not that strong but you should forget about dropping the same week as uh whiskey that is what is saying right now remember that whiskey has previewed some of the songs from his morayo album and a lot of people are really feeling good with it what are your own takes about it let's catch a snippet of one of the songs how cool is that what i need in my comment section is your own analysis of that particular snippet has been dropped by whiskey on social media but buju benson is really taking a lot of chances with his uh, future in the music world as an artist because this guy is a young artist upcoming artist got a bright future ahead of him but taking jives and other things against your uh, kind of predecessors or your elders in the music industry is not going to help you any better that is the advice i want to give to buju on this what are your own takes about this don't forget to put your own comments in the comment section so that you can have a take on your own story david o still remains one of the biggest and most influential artist in africa that is something i got to understand and the name david o is one of the biggest brand in africa a lot of people can really attest to that you know it's easier for you to sell your deal your messages with the name davido than any other name in africa based on the recent thing i've ever seen because a lot of people can really attest to that you know some people have really associated controversies around the name davido which this guy is now exploiting to sell for bigger brands in africa the likes of martel the likes of puma the likes of one is the likes of infinis and a lot of others you know gak motos they are really invested in david o. i think he's taking or finding opportunity to doing that and this guy is almost displacing a person of whiskey from the uba brand deals that is quite impressive and disturbing at the same time a lot of us are really interested in it and saying that that is a big one a big one for david you know when you understand what the world is throwing at you you can make do of that and really become bigger at the end of the day checking the video right now you will get to understand that this guy is investing himself more in the business world as a business person than as an entertainer that is something i got to understand and this is going to help this guy on a long term because he has built a brand davido and that name now he's trying to translate it into the business world he will become the face or uh, the social face of most business brand in nigeria if he continues like this for the next 10 years that is something i will tell you about uh, this whole thing and a lot of people can really attest to that based on the recent events that this guy is attending he was really in abuja at a recent time a lot of people got excited seeing the video and that was really interesting let's catch a glimpse you know, it's, it's beautiful to collaborate and every time like if you do a song and like, oh, David, let's what are your own takes about this what do you feel about the story don't forget to put your own comment in the comment section so that we can have a glimpse at what you feel permit me to say this time we justify the video as the biggest artist and the biggest brand 
in Africa. That is something I got to understand because he has been investing himself into the music ecosystem and also into the business ecosystem. He is investing himself into the business ecosystem, not as a music artist, but as a brand. You know, he's taking the name and branding it and taking it to the business community. And these guys are really accepting it. When you mention the video, OBO, what comes to your mind? A lot of people, Mattel comes to their mind. One Esbet comes to their mind. Um, something like Infinis comes to their mind. You know, Puma comes to their mind. That is what the video is really doing. And it's helping this guy to sell more. I remember that in 2021, um, his uh, father's company, Pacific Holdings, they actually brought in the video and put him on a board as a director. And that is really saving the face of uh, the social face of the you know kind of uh, business at a time and a lot of people can really attest to the fact that david o flies private jets around and which event organizers are paying for from time to time that is another thing that is a big point that is a big win for david o. a lot of people can still attest to that at a recent interview he said something about yes because of the affiliation he had with fifa he was able to secure a deal for his father because of that, his father had secured a deal with FIFA. That is another big one for the video. What are your own takes about this? Don't forget to put your own comment in the comment section so that you can have a take on your own story. Bonaboy allegedly snubbed the video. That is what is really trending on the lips of St. Clef right now. You know, St. Clef has actually made a post on that. A lot of people are really responding to that. But I didn't see anywhere these guys snub themselves because I am here in ABG. That is something you need to understand. A lot of people are really taking St. Clef for a ride while saying that St. Clef, without the video, you cannot breathe. Right now, St. Clef has no music career. This guy is really trapped in the US. Based on some certain things, he cannot travel down to Nigeria, even see his relatives. That is another thing I got to understand about that. Instead of him to focus on really building himself up as a brand because he was there in the past this guy they use himself as a troll on a lot of people in the music industry trolling the lives of davido coming out to throw the lives of very dark man and a lot of others i think st clef has actually lost respect in the music industry that is something i got to believe about that he recently came out to say you know what uh obio was really snubbed by you know person of burner uh, boy and that is not really cool to understand and say that you know what uh, it don't too day late for these guys to reconcile. Now, I want to ask the question. David Orr and Burner Boy, who need each other more? That is something you need to understand because time will justify these things I'm bringing to you. David o is really building himself ahead of time. He understands the game. You know, maybe uh, his father's team, business team, they've advised David o on the way to go. Even his godfather, I said it in numerous interviews that when Ali Kodangote sees him, talks about investment that you are not going to be there forever it's better for you to invest and the rest and this guy is investing himself in the uh, business world and that is what it is burner boy is one of the biggest artists but he's not going to stay there forever when another person comes in and displays burner boy what will be of burner boy what will be the future of burner boy he needs to invest himself in other branding that is something i got to say about all of this